Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Bridge the design realm seamlessly. Discover the magic of integrating Figma with Squarespace. From prototypes to live websites. This guide in search your design journey is smooth and enchanting. So guys, let's get started. So before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So guys, for this specific video, we will need to prepare a bunch of things. The first thing, which is basically having a Squarespace website, which is pretty easy to have. Simply just have to go to Squarespace, create an account, and simply just choose one of their uh, templates, which is pretty easy to do. And then your website should be created in a few seconds. The second thing that I have or you have to do is to simply go ahead and create a Figma account. So for us here we simply have to go to Figma and after that simply just log in into your account right here for example. I will just log in and here I am inside of my account successfully. And now we have to go ahead and finish the setup of the website. So here, for example, let's name the website tutorial. Let's click on next, homepage, next. We don't really care about anything. And now we have created a website very easily without any problems. So here the template is ready. And here changes to the website will not be saved. You can square exit. Let's just exit. And as you can see here, we will be in our website in a few seconds. So here it is the website. And now the second thing, of course, we have the website ready. The second thing is to basically make a design in here. So we have to create a page or something like that. Well, to create a page, simply you can just simply click here or there, or simply you can create by creating here, new team, and then in new teams, you can create a new design. For us, I'm just going to use one of my previous designs that I have, which is basically that one that you have right here. So here we have this basically login page, which I did pretty easily for those who don't know how to make one Simply you can for example go here choose a rectangle make it make it like uh, The size that you want as you can see here So let's make it like that this size here. Let's make it like a white shape uh, We can make for example. Yeah, let's make a design better than the old one. So here we go I'm going to make this like that here um, let's make a little bit of rotation right here by adding 10 uh, all right let's just zoom in a little bit so how to zoom in can we zoom in like that alt uh, I don't know how to zoom in to be honest okay here we go control so here what I'm going to do is to basically make this much more so 24 seems to be right here let's make it smaller here we go so yeah, now let's just make it longer and I guess we have it now in the middle that's perfectly good now we just have to copy it duplicate it and we have two things so we have here login and uh, basically the login and the password here we need to add a button which make it here and I'm just gonna make it the half of it so we can make it like that here we go and I'm going to change the color of it to be for example in uh, something around that here we need to make them a little bit transparent so let's go ahead and make this go somewhere like 30 percent okay uh, I'm going to add a stroke so to add a stroke simply just go here as you can see and now we're just going to add a stroke into it so we can uh, outside and it's gonna be around 30% as well or no it's gonna be more so 50% all right that's perfect and yeah we need to zoom in a little bit so here it seems to be right but we need to add a small text into it so what it's gonna be a text we have to add it right here and let's name it username we have to make it bigger so it have to be like that here we go let's add it to be in the middle right here and this has to be for example uh, 20 percent let's make it 20 percent this time so here we go 20 percent 
and let's copy paste it right here and this one has to be for example the same thing but it should be changed to password and basically now we just have to add a big text that says login page so login page or just login so here it is the color will be the same as this one uh, the font will basically should be bigger than that and I want it to be extra bold and now we have made basically a really good design for our for our basically uh, login page so let's just make it like that here we go all right and here we are so let me just put it in the middle okay that's perfect here we are going to add a new text so this is basically what we are doing is to create a page that we are going to embed normally in our Squarespace website so I'm going to show you real quick how to do so now we need to add here a small text as well which we're gonna call it here for example uh, submit and I'm going to make it of course smaller in white and let's move it right here so it's gonna be like that bigger like that and after we do so it should be in the middle all right that's perfectly good it looks nice so let's make this smaller like that here we go we can add a stroke to it so it's gonna be good here it is um, let's make it around 20% so here we go and now for this we can make it the same color here we go but this one will be lighter or darker and for the colors itself let's make it around 10% so here we made a simple login page now how can we add it to our uh, Squarespace website so simply click here and it will give you a code so you can get the code uh, code settings in HTML and basically what you'll have to do so Figma for VS code here we just needed to have it in, in our language and then here go to edit and basically click on add section and basically choose whatever section you would like so for example I want this one here add block and basically search for code and after you do so, simply just paste the code that you have gotten from Figma through here. So you just have to copy one of these codes. So it says CSS, it will be a lot of things. And simply you just have to get it uh, by using this extension, which is Figma for VS Code. And you will be able to actually paste the code right here. And it will be shown in your website as they have said in their article. So here it is an article that says that. And basically this is exactly what they are saying. In Figma, select the frame page, copy the embed code provided. In Squarespace, create a new page, add a new code block, and paste the embed into the code block and save the publish the page. And there guys, this is basically how to add and connect Figma with your Squarespace website. Thank you guys a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial.